Zoom range is the last bastion of the point and shoot. Though smartphones have slowly devoured the compact camera market and are becoming more and more impressive in their own right, they still have one major limitation, optical zoom. Physically speaking, you can't get the kind of optical zoom range on a smartphone that you can get with a dedicated super zoom camera. These fixed lens bridge or compact cameras may not give you the same flexibility you get with interchangeable lens mirrorless or DSLR cameras, but they do offer long zoom ranges with more portability and convenience. If you're shopping for the best optical zoom camera, look no further. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top 5 best zoom cameras and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you, and as always you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 5. Sony RX107 – Our Pick for the Best Compact Zoom Camera if you're looking for the best compact zoom camera, it doesn't get much better than the Sony RX100 U7. The RX100 series has long been a favorite for street and travel photos. These cameras balance zoom range with a wide array of features you don't often see in compact point and shoots. Like the Sony RX10 IV above, the RX100 Zout 7 uses a stacked 1 inch type sensor that captures above average image quality and has a quick 20 FPS burst rate for faster moving subjects. In addition, it has a tilt out screen for waist level shots a pop-up viewfinder that comes in handy on sunny days, and a small pop-up flash that you can use as a fill light in harsher lighting. Plus, Sony's real-time AF tracking ensures you'll rarely miss focus. With a 24 to 200 mm full-frame equivalent focal length, it doesn't have nearly as much zoom range as other options here. But if the price isn't a deal breaker, this is one of the best premium point and shoots on the market. If you want to save some money, you can also find older models in the RX100 series on the used market. The Sony RX107 is good for travel photography. Image quality out of the box is good for its class, and its autofocus system does a good job of tracking moving subjects and objects. Unfortunately, the camera's small size and lack of a dedicated hand grip can make it feel somewhat cramped in the hand, but it's an incredibly portable camera that you can bring almost anywhere your travels take you. That said, its battery life is quite limited, so you might need an extra battery. Number 4. Canon PowerShot SX70HS Our pick for the best budget zoom camera. If you're on a tighter budget, consider the Canon PowerShot SX70HS. This bridge camera feels notably cheaper than the pricier picks above, with a plasticky exterior and a smaller one torn 2.3 inch sensor that results in worse overall image quality. However, it's still suitable for casual photography, and though it uses a smaller sensor, its 21 tor 1365mm full-frame equivalent lens has a very wide 65x optical zoom range to capture far-off subjects. On top of that, the camera has a very intuitive and user-friendly interface, a relatively high-resolution viewfinder, and a fully articulated screen that lets you shoot at different angles or take selfies. Overall, it offers fairly good value for its price, making it our top budget pick. If you can find one, the Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is cheaper and performs similarly, though it's been discontinued and is harder to find in stock. The Canon PowerShot SX70HS is okay for birding but isn't the best option for action photography. It has a good continuous shooting speed and a relatively quick buffer empty time, meaning you can capture moments of fast moving action with minimal interruption. The built-in lens has an incredibly long focal length, great for capturing far-off subjects, and the optical stabilization does an excellent job of steadying the image, even at slower shutter speeds. You may still need a tripod when using the full focal length. Image quality is okay. That said, raising the ISO introduces significant noise and loss of detail and sharpness, so it isn't well suited to shooting in dim lighting conditions. It also doesn't have an autofocus tracking function when shooting continuously. Number 3. Panasonic Lumix FZ1000 Doe The Panasonic Lumix FZ1002 is the zoom camera Goldilocks would choose. It's less premium and well-built than the Sony RX10 IV, but it's sturdier than budget options, with a great balance of features and performance for its price. Its built-in lens has a fairly wide-ranging 25-400mm equivalent focal length, giving you plenty of flexibility to shoot faraway subjects like birds. It also uses a 1-inch sensor, so image quality is good for its class, though it isn't a stacked design sensor like the Sony, so it has a slower readout speed and max burst rate. Still, the camera is packed with a ton of beginner-friendly shooting modes. That includes a 4K photo mode that lets you pull stills out of 30fps 4K video clips, which is handy for isolating fleeting moments of fast action. It also has a good battery life and excellent ergonomics. Ultimately, this is the way to go if you're looking for a bridge camera that won't break the bank, but still offers a well-rounded feature set and a good build quality. The Panasonic Lumix FZ1002 is a bridge camera with a fairly long zoom lens. It delivers solid all-around performance, 
and its long zoom lens gives you the versatility to shoot far off subjects and wildlife, capture everyday moments, or zoom in for close-ups. Image quality is great, with very little noise at higher ISO levels, making it well suited to shooting indoors or in low light. The Panasonic FZ1000 Disc 2 is decent for sport and wildlife photography, especially for casual use or birding. It has a quick, continuous shooting speed, especially in its silent shooting mode, which is great when you don't want to scare away wildlife. Its autofocus system is good for tracking moving objects, but unfortunately, it does a poor job of tracking faces. Number 2. Nikon Coolpix P1000 A list of the top zoom cameras wouldn't be complete without the Nikon Coolpix P1000. It's the camera to beat if we're talking sheer zoom range. With a stunning 125x optical zoom, its bazooka of a lens can capture details on the moon's surface. Of course, that 24-3000mm equivalent focal length means this isn't the best choice if you want something even remotely portable, but it's an impressive camera nonetheless. It's best suited to shooting in broad daylight because of its small sensor and narrow aperture at max zoom, and you'll likely need a tripod or something else to stabilize the camera when shooting at the tail end of its focal length range. However, despite its limitations, the 1000 still has something to offer besides awe-inspiring zoom, including raw photo capture and 4K video capability, along with a high-res EVF and fully articulated screen. The Nikon Coolpix P1000 is okay for sport and wildlife photography. It feels well-built overall, although it's exceptionally bulky and heavy due to the size of the lens. That said, it comes with an array of inputs and outputs, including a microphone jack, hot shoe, and remote control input. Unfortunately, it's not well suited to video, with bad overall autofocus performance and poor video quality. It has an extremely long built-in zoom lens that's great for capturing incredibly far-off subjects. The image quality is also decent for its class, although image quality degrades significantly in low light. Unfortunately, its burst shooting is mediocre. It can capture up to seven photos in a single burst, but it has to empty the buffer after each burst, slowing you down considerably. Its autofocus system also performs badly, so it can sometimes struggle to track moving subjects. Number 1. Sony RX10 IV The Sony RX10 IV is one of the best zoom cameras you can get. While it isn't cheap, it's an incredibly well-rounded bridge camera that stands above the pack. Its stacked 1-inch sensor keeps rolling shutter to a minimum and allows for burst shooting at up to 24 FPS. Beyond that, its high-resolution OLED EVF gives you a sharp view of your subjects, and the camera even records decent 4K video quality. With a 24th or 600 mm full-frame equivalent focal length, its built-in Zeiss lens has a fairly wide 25x optical zoom range. Though it isn't the longest zoom range on this list, the camera makes up for that with features like a weather-sealed body, fantastic ergonomics, and a great battery life. In addition, you get a highly reliable autofocus system with real-time subject detection and tracking. Ultimately, if you're looking for a well-rounded zoom camera in a relatively portable and well-constructed package, and money is no obstacle, this is the one to get. The Sony RX10 IV is good for sport and wildlife photography. The camera feels incredibly comfortable to use, although it's bulky. Its built-in lens also has a remarkably long focal length range, so you can zoom in on very far away subjects or take extreme close-ups. Its continuous shooting speed is very fast, as it can shoot at an outstanding 21 FPS when using its electronic shutter and a still excellent 11 FPS when using its mechanical shutter. The autofocus is also effective, though its tracking feature can sometimes struggle to keep up with faster subjects. While its buffer empty time is quite long, it has a big capacity, so you'll unlikely fill it in regular use.